this knocked? What about it? Photo. I know just the place, and it's close. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! Gondola! Care for a ride? So, care to take a cruise? Anything happened while I was gone? Yeah, the car got roomier. Smart ass. Even better from a gondola. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskamama, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> You were only a babe at the time. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Sure. 
Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Where should we stay tonight? Let's head back to our room. Aranea, she's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Call it a day. Above at long last. Oh. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have huh? any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Say, Aranea really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, yeah, that too. It's just, I always had this impression that the Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the mold. Really makes you wonder. You think she was okay with the raid on the Citadel? Ask her yourself. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first.
Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, Your Majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. You're basically telling us to fight the Empire alone. In a manner of speaking, but to rephrase it from our perspective, Accordo has no troops that can aid you, not amid such chaos at any rate. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right, you do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young 
and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do.